thanks again for coming along and watching um so today it's me again it's b it's not andy i've got pink and flowery on the table so uh i've just got this scarf out to give me an idea um for doing some more wax resist i was looking at the beads and thinking they could be improved on so i've got a piece of ginkgo i'm just drawing out with a water soluble pencil and just freehand drawing and this pencil if you make a mistake it doesn't matter because it's so pale and it sits on the surface of the wood and you can just get a, a damp piece of cloth or a bit of sponge just really really damp not soaking wet and it will just wash off and it won't affect your grain so ginkgo is a bit funny it's very fibrous it doesn't burn very well um, so I am going to put a little bit of pyrography on here so I've got the razor tip P80 and uh, got the wax resist nib already on the BP pen and uh, I've got I got the the um, spoon shader and skew out thinking oh, I'll, I'll do some work on the leaves I did a little bit but it wasn't going very well so I gave up and uh, in a minute you'll see that I get a ball point um, pen from razor tip out on with the mask with burning wood I um, don't need it on while you're doing the wax work but uh, just while I'm doing the pyrography and uh, there is a yellow tint to the ginkgo and I'm not too sure about toxicity with this one um, going on laburnum and yew which also have that um, that same colouring the can be a bit toxic so I don't know why I started trying to burn straight away just eager to get on I think get a woke up this morning plan in hand need to crack on so just putting a little bit of texture in the middle of the flowers and uh, I'll do some stamens and um, that will be about it for pyrography on this piece um, but the more I play with this wax tip the more ideas are coming to me to incorporate the pyrography more and more with it so just gone over now done all the py the pyrography that i need to um there's three flowers i think there is and uh, just put the wax nib on and uh, the bp pen um these pens come i think with three there's three sizes so different apertures for you know very fine work um, I'm not too sure which one this one is. I don't know whether it's the finest or the thickest, but the wax beeswax um, pellets that I have there fit the pen brilliantly. So you get two or three in the um, in that uh, little reservoir, and to heat it up on in the instructions it says to about level two which goes for the analog machine so razor tip to the ssd10 which i also use and uh, on that they recommend just to dial up to number two on the p80 i found 380 to 400 was perfect it flowed beautifully and it didn't the the wax wasn't smoking it wasn't burning it's not bubbling and spitting or anything like that it just flows it's lovely i did find today though because i had the doors open in the garage that the wind coming through was um hardening the wax the temperature was dropping a bit and it was hardening the wax a little bit in the um nib area but just a quick poke out they the uh, razor tip supply a little needle and just a quick poke out and it was flowing again and uh, also when the when the wind dropped it it was fine so you can't really see what it's doing because <laughs> it's clear wax on wood um so i do hold it up in a minute and you'll be able to see um but i'm not going to make you sit through all of me doing the wax work so a little bit of sped uh, speeding up and uh just cracking on with it really but it doesn't take as long to wax as it does to do the pyrography so it is quite a quick if you if you're a bit impatient it's quite a quick process so there you can just about make out the um the wax in relief on there and uh so then we crack crack the uh, airbrush into use 
and I say it is a yellowish wood so I just wanted to even the tone out a little bit um, and then build on certain areas and I'm using spirit stains so uh, and and a stencil so yellow green turquoise royal blue um, purple red white they all got used today um, the stencil comes I think I got this one on Amazon but um, eBay do them um, you'll find them on there and uh, any good airbrush um, supplies will have these stencils but they're great for just adding a little bit of texture if you're doing a background and I use them in paintings as well as in woodwork after the orange that I'm putting on here I actually took the piece off and put more wax on where I'd um, already sprayed that way when I took the wax off you had another layer of line work which was coloured and it worked really well by the time I finished putting all the, the colours on so um, I liked that and I am going to do more of that and uh, yeah I'll, uh, I'll work on that with the next piece so uh, I'll just carry on and spray now my phone does run out I, I my battery dies so you don't actually see me putting all the colors on uh, in a minute it will cut to me taking wax off because uh, say the phone died before I could get the pink and purple on there but it, you get the general idea I also then dry brushed with some iridescent uh, acrylics in certain areas and then once that dried I didn't um, heat this up this time I thought actually I'll get the um, get a palette knife to it because it's blunt and literally just ran it over the top layer of the wax and it took all the color off now any residue wax left behind there's not going to be that much and there's no color on it to sink into the lines so the only coloured lines you've got there are the ones where I have gone over with that second layer of wax. And I actually thought this was really quick and effective. And I think it's my desired way now of removing the wax. So it really worked really well. And you can just see there the, some of the highlighting I've done with the iridescence. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my process and uh, we'll catch you next time tick the bell and subscribe thanks for watching